You may have noticed in the last lesson that our estimates using the stand GLM function were very similar to our parameter estimates when using the LM function. If so, you're probably wondering why we need to even bother with Bayesian. We've touched on this a little bit, but it's worth taking some time now to really understand the differences between the frequentist and Bayesian camps. When we look at the output from the LM and stand GLM models that we estimated earlier, we see that the estimates and standard errors are very similar. However, the output from the Bayesian model doesn't contain test statistics or p-values. This represents the fundamental difference between frequentists and Bayesians. In short, frequentists assume that model parameters are fixed and data is random, while Bayesians assume that the data is fixed and model parameters are random. This can be seen in the interpretation of a p-value. The p-value is the probability of observing data that give rise to a test statistic that large if the null hypothesis is true. In other words, given a set of true parameter values, the null hypothesis, what's the probability of observing a random data set that result in a test statistic this large? In contrast, Bayesians assume that the data collected are fixed, and there instead is a distribution of possible parameter values that give rise to the data. Said another way, Bayesians are interested in determining the range of values for parameters that would give rise to their observed dataset. However, it is often desirable to have a method for assessing whether or not a parameter estimated using Bayesian methods is meaningful or significant. For this, we'll use credible intervals. A credible interval will seem very similar to a confidence interval. A confidence interval tells us the probability that a range contains the true value. However, the confidence interval cannot tell us anything about how probable any specific values for the parameter of interest are. This may seem like splitting hairs, but it is an important distinction to make in order to make sure we are making the correct inferences. In contrast, credible intervals tell us how probable values are. This allows us to make inferences about actual parameter values rather than the boundaries of the ranges. In our stan arm, we can easily calculate credible intervals using the posterior interval function. By default, our stan arm provides the 90% credible interval, but we can create 95 or 50% credible intervals by supplying the desired interval to the prob argument. These intervals look very similar to the corresponding confidence intervals. Here is the 95% confidence interval for the mom IQ parameter in our frequentist model. This tells us that there is a 95% chance that the range of 0.49 to 0.72 contains the true value. But we're interested in the probability of the value falling between two points, not the probability of the two points capturing the true value. This is what the credible interval gives us. As you can see, these intervals give very similar ranges. And this may often be the case, but the inferences are very different. In the Bayesian scenario, we can ask, what is the probability that the parameter is between 0.6 and 0.65? And we see a 31% chance the true value is in that range. How would we do something similar with confidence intervals from a frequentist model? We can't. Only Bayesian methods allow us to make inferences about the actual values of the parameter. 